Welcome to a, another episode of uh, Takeout Thursday that I really don't have the time to be recording, but I'm recording anyway. Today I went to uh, Chen's restaurant. That is a, another Chinese restaurant in the UW Plaza area. I had to wait a pretty long time for this food. About 20 minutes or so, I think. I mean, I guess that means it's fresh. It also means I'm not coming back. And no matter how good it tastes, and by the way, I hope it does taste good, I've uh, tried the two other General Tao chickens in the area. This is also General Tao chicken. I've went to, uh, I've tried Chinois and also Paninos. So with this one, I will be able to make a comparison and offer a recommendation. But uh, I think I already know my answer. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Now, uh, right from the get-go, this smells spicy. Uh, the Benino's one was just uh, pretty sweet, drowned in sauce. I'm not sure how spicy the other one was, but uh, okay. That does look spicy. You can um, just see the uh, chili peppers there, chili flakes all over the sauce. Uh, they only gave me chopsticks. Uh, there aren't any instructions here, so if I uh, if I didn't know how to use chopsticks, this would be pretty unfortunate. Now it looks like this is uh, some kind of bitter melon, or it's pepper. <laughs> um, we got onions, we got what appears to be chicken, a little mushy, very mushy. Well, I guess I might as well dig in. So, uh, those are definitely peppers, so I've got the receipt here. Let me just tell you how much it costs. So this was... Six ninety nine before tax, and eight oh five after. So it's uh, definitely cheaper than the other options. Uh, significantly cheaper than the other options. If I'm gonna wait that long, I might as well just eat at home, right? I guess it is good. Uh, it's decent. The chicken is mushy. Uh, like I said, like you can see, it's not like this is bad though. Especially for ten p.m. food. The sauce is definitely more flavorful than Panino's, but you'll notice I'm definitely getting a smaller portion. If you've seen my uh, Mapo Tofu video, that's the size of the box for pretty much everything on the menu, but maybe this uses more vertical space, I'm not sure, because here are the chickens on top. Uh, there, they have the chicken on like the left side and the rice on the right. I don't know. Um, I'll definitely have to finish this first before I can really rate the portions. So now that I've gotten to the rice, I mean, that's not great either. <laughs> it almost feels like sushi rice because it's also uh, clumped together. Uh, one thing, I will say at least, the chicken has some good heat to it. That would be the chili flakes you saw. Yeah, so in terms of vegetables, Benino's comes with uh, string beans. And this has uh, green peppers and onions. At Xinhua, they have uh, peppers and onions and some other stuff. It's late night, and the rice is going to be mushy if it's sitting in the cooker all day. So what else can I say about this? It's definitely greasy. Of course, all, uh, all Chinese takeout is definitely greasy. So I'm going to you know, finish this up off screen. Uh, in terms of my closing remarks, I'd probably put this... Uh, just above Panino's in terms of the general Tao chicken, maybe not in terms of other dishes, and then uh, Xinhua is obviously on top of uh, both of them. Uh, it's just so, <laughs> it's just really good. Um, that's probably where I'm gonna keep going back to. But, you know, this isn't, uh, this isn't bad. If there's a long line over there, just come over here. I'll just put the final scores for Chen's uh, right over here. You can compare that to my scores for Xinhua and Panino's in my earlier videos. It's obviously not the same dish, but it's more or less a 
Well, I can't even say it's a general rating of the restaurant. I mean, some dishes are just better than others. But anyway, I think that wraps it up for today. I'm uh, probably going to post this one or two weeks late because that's just how my schedule is going. Yeah, I have a few midterms coming up. Yeah, I'm really busy and it's awful. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for watching. This has been the Chief Flavor Officer, Lil Tax Returns. See you later. <laughs>